Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use convolution reverbs not just for reverbs but also for creating very interesting effects. So in this video I'm going to be using a reverence and I'm going to turn a very simple drum loop that sounds like this into this. Believe it or not, no instruments were used. We're going to use just reverence to create all those cool effects. Let's get started. Reverence is a convolution reverb that also allows you to import your own impulses. Convolution reverbs in general give you a very accurate representation of a space, let's say a hall or a church or a room, and they tend to sound really realistic. But another thing that you can do with convolution reverbs like reverence is you can be very creative with them. They're actually loads of fun. So instead of loading and importing a reverb impulse, you can start importing things that you wouldn't normally use for a reverb. And this allows you to achieve some really, really interesting effects. Let me give you a very, very quick example of what I'm going to show you here today. So I have this drum loop here and I'm going to add a reverence instance on the kick drum only. So let's listen without reverence first. And now I'm going to add a lo-fi synth loop from Media Bay as an impulse inside Reverence and listen to what effects we can create. So this all happens using any material in Reverence. So now let me show you how you can achieve all these things with another very basic acoustic drum loop. In this case, I have a very simple drum loop and I'm going to isolate every element and we can see what we can do with our reverbs. So I'm going to start with a kick drum first and I'm going to go here and add a reverence reverb. So I've loaded an instance of reverence on my kick drum and this is the preset that it comes up with. This is a nice LA Studio reverb impulse. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load this sample as an impulse for reverence. Check it out. So this is a sample that comes from Media Bay and it is an arpeggiated synth, but definitely not a reverb impulse. So let's try and import it. I'm going to hit import and I'm going to just click on this. And as you can see, we already have this sample inside Reverence. And let's listen to how it sounds. Now this sounds almost like an ambient bed, but here's where we can start fine tuning this sample inside Reverence to create some interesting effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn up my mix to let's say 20% and I'm going to start tweaking the time scale. So as you can see, we can make it really short or really, really long. So let's go for a short one. So as you can see, now we have a little bit of a tail of this sample after my kick drum, but it doesn't sound like we just added a sample or just added a sample player for this. It sounds really unique. So let's check what we can do playing with the size, the level and the time scaling.
So as you can hear, the time scaling changes the envelope, the release of this sample that we just imported. And the size changes the pitch as well. Check it out. So it's really, really cool. And this effect is really unique. You can't get this effect if you just have like a sampler triggering this sample is going to sound completely different. But when you use this in reverence, it really gives you a very unique and very kind of dreamy texture behind our kick drum. And because it needs the kick drum to trigger this kind of impulse, then we get a very unique rhythmic effect as well. So I'm going to keep it there for the kick drum and now I'm going to go for my snare. So let's listen to the snare in isolation. And now I'm going to add a different sample here. I'm going to add this one right here. And let's see what sounds we can achieve. So I'm going to go to my reverence, import, and I'm going to import this sample. And let's see what we have here. And as you can see, it sounds so interesting. It adds so much texture, especially if you're trying to create ambiences or some really nice atmospheres for film music, all these things. Even the simplest sound can be transformed by using reverence and just dropping in some samples and experimenting with it. Now, as you can see, this sample has a nice tail with a nice release. These samples tend to work very well with convolution reverbs and of course reverence in this case. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see what kind of sounds I can achieve with this. Now, another thing that I can do is I can also reverse this sample. So I can go here, hit reverse, and now I can see how I can time it so that it gives me a nice sucky effect, like a nice reverse effect to my snare. I like this. And what I can also do in this case is I can go to my EQ, I can turn it on, and now I want to add a little bit of top end and remove some of the low end so that it doesn't clash with the rest of the arrangement. So with the kick drum, Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my overheads and I'm going to add this trumpet as my impulse. So now let's play it along with the kick drum and let's make sure that these two elements play along with each other in terms of pitch as well, right? So let's do this. So now it's almost like we have a sample trumpet playing, but in a very, very interesting way, a very interesting texture along with the kick drum. So we're already creating a pitched arrangement without using any instruments at all. Last but not least, let's add this sample to my room channel. And let's see how it sounds. Add some EQ.
So let's listen to how we transform a relatively bland and boring loop into something that is very interesting, has pitch information without using any instruments. So there you go, convolution reverbs are great for adding space to your recordings, but they're also amazing when you want to create inspirational, very creative and unique sounds. So I hope you have fun using reverence in a slightly different way, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.